not Catholic, I mean. You got a fishing rod there? Yep. Where are you going to catch? Lots of stuff. Lots, oh, stuff? Yeah. You're going to catch a halibut with your fly rod? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't think so. I will. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're that good? Yeah, I'm so good. Are we vlogging? We're vlogging. Babe, where are we going? Wrangle. Ra Wranglers. So we're in Wrangle. Gary picked us up and we are about ready to head up the river. But I got to show you folks. This is my hometown. Beautiful Southeast Alaska. And man, this is like boat central. So I got to show you some of the boats that Gary has that we have to choose from. This is a, a glass ply. And you always gotta have at least a 200 Merc. And these are great. Uh, I actually think it's very similar to a Donzi uh, boat. And this little speedboat over here was my old boat that Gary's been gracious enough to store from me or store for me. This is a STV Euro with a 225 Pro Max with a uh, speed prop. I had this thing up to 102 miles an hour. And now I will show you what Gary has. He has a beautiful boat. Ah, man, it's a stunning boat. Every time I see it, I'm like, oh my God, you got such a, a nice, nice, I don't want to say what it is yet until you get over there, but it's an Allison. So I'll show you Gary's Allison. And does this thing not just scream speed? Like it is so clean and so low profile. Ah, it's a beautiful boat. And I just couldn't like come in here and not, show you guys the kinds of boats that these guys run up in Alaska. This is where I was born, this is where I was raised, and these are the kinds of boats that, this is why I have the speed addiction, really. We're not taking this out today, but we are taking this boat out today. What's, how long is this thing? Uh, 18 and a half. 18 and a half foot, fully welded aluminum uh, jet boat, different kind of jet now, we're talking an outboard jet, so it's not a screamer, but low dead rise in this thing, where I got stuck the other day in those mud flats, this boat would not have gotten stuck. It would have kept going in literally two inches of water all day long, but this is what we are headed up the river in today. So just thought I'd show, oh, and there's this other, we're gonna, are we taking that out fishing or are we taking Dustin's boats? We might take Dustin's boat. Yeah, so you can never have too many boats, right? Especially Gary and especially in Wrangell. You gotta have one for every, you gotta have a fast boat, you gotta have a utility boat, you gotta have a warm cabin cruiser for fishing because the weather does get crappy as all get out. And yeah, and you gotta have an aluminum boat like, like one of these things that will take the beating. So that's what we're taking today and we'll uh, get some footage up the river. You gotta make it on my, you gotta make it on YouTube. You gotta make it on YouTube. Yeah. Hey Gunner, who's going, hey, who's going up the river? Who's going up the river? Yeah, we're going up the river.
are those, humpies? Ready to go tubbing? Yep. You remember last time you came here? Yep. In the swimsuit you wore? Yep. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I had your face all over. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> What is this about a 20 mile hike? You're ruining my shot. <laughs> Not a bad view from the old hot tub. Not a bad view. That's gotta be better than what he was doing. Oh yeah, he's way cleaner now. Look at that. Yeah. There's salt everywhere. This knot, yeah. this oh, knot should bones. hold pretty good. Huh? <laughs> that knot? Oh yeah. That's, that, that's, that's a top notch. Yeah. That is, uh, you get your 100 tonner if you learn how to tie that. Yeah. We ain't going anywhere.